So this is a three pound Costa coffee, this is a hundred pound jacket, and this is a five pound burger. If we were to invest them, which one would bring us the most money? So I don't actually mean invest a burger, that would be silly. Hi, is that HSBC? Yeah, hi, I'm looking to um, invest with you guys. How much? Um, so I've, I've got a burger, I'd like to invest a burger. Y yeah, 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 a burger with ketchup. Uh, hello? Hello? I think they hung up on me. So the idea is that we partake in lots of luxuries, but what if we invested that money instead? What would be the best luxury to do without? Let's find out. So the first thing we have to work out is how much are we actually spending on this stuff in a year? So let's take coffee, three pounds every coffee, seven, eight coffees in a week, that's about 20, 25 pounds. In a month, that's going to add up to about 100 pounds. In a year, that's 1,200 pounds. With a burger, let's say you spend about, you know, four, four burgers in a month, uh, that's about 20, 25 pounds. In a year, that's gonna add up to roughly 240, 250 pounds. Uh, and then with a jacket, unless you're a bit of a freak and you wanna buy lots of jackets, people normally buy one jacket, uh, so that's going to cost around £100 a year. So coffee is obviously the massive spend in the year. So let's try and save that. Let's try and save that for your entire working life. Let's say you've become a monk and you've given up coffee for your entire working career of 45 years. How much money would you end up saving on coffee over that time period? So the coffee alone, over 45 years, adds up to £54,000. And if you adjust for inflation, that's £80,000 spent just on coffee in our lifetime. So now, what if we invested that savings on coffee every month into investments? So this is the compound interest calculator on thecalculatorsite.com. I'll drop a link below. Um, and what you do, let's say you put in £100 to start off with, and you set the interest rate or the profit rate, uh, in our case, for let's say 7%, which is your standard. Um, uh, and let's say you calculate over 45 years, you compound every year as opposed to monthly, so like that's when it rolls over, and then you regularly deposit £100. And let's say you increase the deposit with inflation, which is around 2%, and then you calculate, and let's see what happens. So the big numbers that you have to look at overall are you end up with, in total, £464,000, and just the coffee, um, will add up to about £86,000. Um, mad. So hang on, what, what just happened here? This coffee could be worth £464,000. So what's the secret? So we like to call this the IFG investment laws. Number one, invest consistently and regularly. And number two, hold for a long period of time. Beta, that sounds really boring. Give me a get-rich-quick scheme. So there's no get-rich-quick, there's get-rich-slow, like the 1%. I mean, look at this graph of Warren Buffett's wealth. It only mounts up significantly over time. Why? So the benefits of the IFG investment laws, the reason why the 1% use these laws, is twofold. Compounding and smoothing. So compounding is the reason why banks are so rich. Because when you keep on reinvesting the profits or you keep on reaccumulating the interest, it becomes a snowball and it starts rolling and it picks up more and more and more and more stuff until before you know it, it's a massive ball with Donald Trump's hair on top of it. And so we're smoothing. Look, markets are really choppy and volatile over the short term, but over the long term, they trend upwards. So if you hold for a long period of time, you're going to benefit from that upward trend. That's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Remember, IFG is here to help you make money and save money. And please do subscribe to our channel to hear about all of our halal investment tips and saving tips here first. And leave us a comment. If you'd like us to cover anything, we'd love to know. Salam.